Forked in two. Which way should I go? This fork in the path is also a materialized mystery, so you should know which way to go if you solve it first. Let's clarify what mystery this is exactly. Uh huh? Uh, how do you do that? Like this. Seeker as a conduit to expose the mystery blocking the path. Is that a quest? That's the mystery standing in your way. You just need to pick the right path and head on through. Six on the train. It must mean the six master detectives, including me, right? If I don't think the culprit is among the six on the train, then I should take the right path, which says no. But if I think the culprit is one of the six on board, I need to take the left path that says yes. Hmm, which is it? There's only one truth! So, you think the culprit is one of the six on the train, right? Can I go through now? Oh, you got it right? Not bad at all, Master. Ah! Something happened! Why? Did I make the wrong choice? He's trying to bury the truth again! Go get him, Master! detectives used their abilities to prove that only six people were on the train. If it was only one person, they could have been lying or an imposter. But two of them means there can be no mistake. Wrong! Your reasoning is completely off! What good does...
backup controller's operation log showed that the train never stopped. And the doors won't open unless the train stops. So it's impossible for someone to have gotten on during the trip. Looks like you're getting the hang of this, Master. You've learned to ruthlessly cut down any who stand in your way. Sound like I'm the bad guy here. Hey, I was wondering if the mystery labyrinth is trying to block people from seeking the truth, wouldn't it reject my answers even if they're right? Or maybe the questions themselves could be lies. No chance. A mystery labyrinth has no self will. It can't lie or create things not based on the real world mystery. This place is a direct manifestation of a mystery. He can always progress as long as you keep solving it. In that sense, the labyrinth is fair. It won't cheat you. I see. That's a relief. By the way, about the culprit being one of the six of you, how could the culprit commit the crime when all the other passengers besides you were dead? in the road. This is how we reach the truth. It reflects how problems are really solved, doesn't it? Well, I don't know if I've ever actually solved a mystery on my own. I don't remember it all. It doesn't matter. You just need to solve the mystery in front of us. Share mind and body. The chain is proof of that. Our relationship can never be broken apart. Th th that's terrible. Please, you should consider yourself lucky. You're being haunted by a cutie like me. I'm so tired. I pulled you up here so you can walk the rest of the way yourself. Ask you to do that. So you think this path will lead toward the truth, right? No idea. This is a labyrinth. It's pretty common to encounter dead ends. Whoa, watch out! See? 
What did I tell you? Dead end. Don't sound so proud of yourself. You chose this path, Shinigami. Hmm. If it's a dead end, maybe the culprit wasn't just playing dead. I searched all five bodies, and they were, without a doubt, dead. Oh, so the answer isn't played dead. Let's turn back. Uh, you changed your mind already? Exploring all possibilities is an important part of beating a mystery labyrinth. <sighs> By the way, I did say I can guide you through the mystery labyrinth, but I'm not that good at solving mysteries. You could have said that a little earlier. I just want to help. I like when you rely on me, Matt. Anyway, what's going on in the real world while we're in the mystery labyrinth? Time has stopped on the other side. We're sort of set apart from the normal flow of time while we're here. In other words, you're still surrounded by peacekeepers. So if we return without solving the mystery, we'll just be captured. As a result, this murder case will remain unsolved and linger in people's memories as a serious crime. Naturally, this mystery labyrinth will also survive. And that creates an even bigger problem. Which is? Leaving a case unsolved means that it will go down in history that way. The more bizarre a mystery is, the more it attracts people's interest. And the more people rack their brains about that mystery, the bigger the mystery labyrinth gets. Eventually, the Mystery Labyrinth would gain enough power to start affecting the real world. It would implant insidious ideas into people's minds, creating more murderers and, in turn, new Mystery Labyrinths. Labyrinths can create endless cycles. That's why it's best to cut it off as soon as possible. Daunting than I thought. Ah, we're finally back. The other route is commit suicide after the crime. There's no other option, so it has to be the right answer. Suicide after the crime would mean... After killing the other four, the culprit killed themselves, right? Is that really the right answer? The mystery labyrinth's roots represent logical deduction. If there's only one root, then it's the only possibility. I think the only option left is the culprit off themselves. We just need to find that suicidal pest. After the crime, 
then the last person that died should be the culprit. Right, because they wouldn't be able to kill someone else if they off themselves already. Nice work! Started the fires must be the culprit. Well, I burned to death, so the culprit who died last totally burned themselves. Come on, let's try again. This way. We, we're gonna crash. Then set themselves on fire. Is zilch. <laughs> Bingo! Once you did it, Master. But you know, setting aside the idea that the culprit was the last to die, why would it be Detective Four Eyes? Didn't we discover his body first? According to the peacekeepers, the victims all burned to death, right? But when we first found Zilch in Car One, he wasn't burnt yet. If that's the case, that means he must have burned to death. After that, although everyone else we found after him had already died from burns. All right. So if they all burned to death, then the last one who died could be Detective Four Eyes. I think the culprit killed everyone in the opposite order of how we found their corpses. Starting from Car Five, he killed them in order one by one, then set himself on fire in Car One. So, Detective Four Eyes is without a doubt the culprit, but he committed suicide, huh? Would be fine. I'm such a terrific guide. Yeah. Is that the end of it? I guess that's everything. Seems easier than I thought. Um, what's wrong, Master? I'm wondering if that's really all that happened. Something about this seems off. It does? You think so? What's going on? The conclusion? Is this the truth behind the case? There's only one door. No other option. Maybe this really is the end. Kind of a simple conclusion despite five people dying. Well, I hope this was a helpful tutorial for you, Master. Wait. Mystery labyrinths contain all the mysteries of the real-world case, including things like misdirection, right? Which means this could be an attempt by the culprit to mislead us. So, you don't think this is the truth? What makes you say that? I'm not sure, but I have a feeling the case isn't closed yet. If so, then this door could be a fake. How can we tell? If you think it's fake, why not try breaking it? It'll be bad news if you're wrong, though. And I won't tell you exactly what will happen. I don't want to affect your judgment. You've already affected my judgment. I guess the only way to find out is to destroy it.
So it was fake. It was the culprit trying to throw us off the trail. You said it just quit while you were ahead. It's rare for a fake exit to appear. This mystery labyrinth is way tougher than I thought. Master, don't let your guard down! Make sure you drop your money before you drop dead! I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet! Master can even make snap judgments. Are you gonna remember all of this? <laughs> sure, hope you got all that down. The culprit! He's in his office. Delch is the only one who could have done the crime. Think about it, Zilch's suicide by fire doesn't make sense. Because when I saw Zilch through the window, there was a knife in his chest. If he burned himself, then why would there be a knife stuck there? You little brat. Fine. I'll answer you. I was a Stuck in the body? Uh, of course I know why. Yeah, it was to knock himself out. Stabbed himself so he would pass out easy. Then set himself on fire. Dying by fire is a painful way to go. He wanted to make it less painful. Alfred has to be Zilch! He committed suicide by self-immolation! Hmm? That's true. 
I was a knife stuck in the body? Uh, of course I know why! Yeah, it was to knock himself out! I'll flash through this mystery! His plan was to fall unconscious. He would have used the drugged coffee in the dining car. That's a much easier way to pass out. I see. So they're trying to mislead you about the cause of death for Detective Four Eyes. Right. The Peacekeeper said all the detectives burned to death. But Zulch's corpse in the first car is different. To me, it looked more like he was stabbed to death. So the Peacekeeper's report was a lie? But they had no reason to do that. you up as the culprit, they'd be raising questions by fabricating reports. Yeah, you're right. They all must have died by fire, after all. And for some reason, only Zilch appeared to have been stabbed to death. I get it. So that's what was bothering me. But no matter how hard I think about it, I can't seem to figure out what happened next. Huh? Why's that? I don't have enough clues about Zulch in the first car. I should have investigated it more after discovering the body, but I was too preoccupied with calling for help. So we're stuck right here. I don't see any other routes to break through this mystery. I don't even know what mystery we gotta solve right now. But I do know there can't be a labyrinth without a goal. The truth is always behind a mystery. You wish you had investigated more, right? So you think you'd have the answer if you'd done that? Huh? Yeah, maybe. Oh, fine. My secret weapon is so draining, I try to avoid using it as much as possible. But I just love it when you rely on me, Master. I have a bad feeling about this. What are you trying to do? This is all for you, Master. Ready, Master? Huh? Ah, wait! I'm extracting your memory and materializing it inside the mystery labyrinth. This is my super cute special weapon. See, if you investigate here, you might make some new discoveries. Oh, the shock from all this is making my head spin. Time to waste, Master! This was pumped out of that slow brain of yours, so don't assume it'll stick around for long. You have until the pain in your head clears up. Now hurry and investigate! Got it. I'll hurry. This blanket is mostly burned, but some parts near the knife are unscathed. It doesn't look like there's blood on the blanket at all. But how could that be? Oh. 
so I can get solution keys here too. You may have seen it, but forgotten. That just means you didn't think anything of it at the time. But it is in your memory, so you can use it as a clue. You can do that? You're incredible, Shinigami. <laughs> Go on, keep complimenting me. Huh? This cushion. Was it always there? Also, it looks like it has a hole in the middle of it. It was made by something sharp. What did this? Oh, it's fading. I guess the pain is starting to go away, too. Looks like time's up. Well, did you find anything? Yeah, I think I see the contradiction here. Although I'm not completely sold on it. Come on, this is where you're supposed to declare I've solved the mystery. Well, if you think you're on the right track, then I guess we should do this next. Do what? It's for when you're stuck in your deductions. Remember what I said earlier? Every labyrinth has a goal. So even when you're stuck, there's always a way out. And we're gonna find it by working together. Working together? Lay it all out, Master!
Oh, it's fading. I guess it looks like time. Yeah. Uh, Come on. Ah, and this is where well, if you do, it's for remember. So even when we're get working, play it. Try to solve it like any split. That's right. When I saw Zilch through the window, it appeared as if the knife was stuck in his chest. But in actuality, he stabbed the blanket-wrapped cushion to make it look like he had been stabbed. That's why the blanket didn't have blood on it, even though the cushion was stabbed through. Zilch's death was a red herring. It was meant to mislead us. It's a new solution key. If it was a red herring, that means he wasn't really dead. Yeah, Zilch was faking his death to fool us. That knife was just to trick me into thinking he was dead when I looked through the window. But the Peacekeeper's report saying they all burned to death created a contradiction. So the culprit was just playing dead. It's exactly what I said. In a roundabout way, yes. Which means that dead end in the abyss could have a new path now. Let's hurry back! What's wrong? It's too much of a hassle to go all the way back there. I don't want to walk anymore. Some guy you are. Besides, you're not even walking. I despise effort and hard work. I want to head back the easy way. Oh, I know. I have a convenient transportation. It lets us go anywhere you've been before. Now is the perfect time to use it. A mysterious force is blocking you from casting this spell. What the...? That spell will let you escape from within a labyrinth. But you can't use it inside the mystery lab. Anyway, time to pick again! Ch sure See? Super easy! Yeah, sure... But unfortunately, using it does drain a little bit. Drain a little bit of what? Do you have MP or something? Your lifespan. My lifespan? Again? So we passed through how did the culprit pull it off junction and have taken the play dead turn again. Now that we have a new solution key, I'm sure we can solve this mystery and access what's ahead. Let's give it a try.
solution keys are important to solving mysteries. Yours truly is important, too. We are gonna expose the truth together! Zilch was trying to trick us into thinking he'd killed himself. A bridge! See, didn't I say the path would appear? It's all because we found the right detective clue to break through. I'm so amazing. You can pat me on the head if you want, Master. Well, maybe later. We opened the play dead root thanks to the corpse red herring solution key. So Zilch really faked his death to mislead us. If so, he is absolutely the culprit. Now, we just need to prove it. But even if the mystery labyrinth is fair when it comes to solving mysteries, the real world will be different, right? What if Amaterasu Corp decides to protect the culprit, even if we prove who really did it? Oh, you're worried they'll just cover it up? No need to worry about that. Huh? Why's that? Let's save the fun for later. Oh, the ground! It's falling apart! You better run, Master! Why? Wasn't this the right route? Maybe the logic still has some holes in it. Zilch through the window. He was faking his death with a knife to the cushion. That was definitely the real Zilch. The corpse I investigated was real. It just wasn't Zilch's corpse. In other words, Zilch swapped himself out for a real corpse. was switched right before I broke the infirmary window to open the lock. The blazing fire had filled the room with smoke, so I couldn't make anything out through the window. Zilch used that smoke as cover to switch himself with a dead body. I get it. The fire wasn't only there to show he died from burning. It was also a smoke screen to swap out the corpse. Right. In the smoke, he switched places with a corpse he had hit. <laughs> Next up, you need to deduce where the corpse was hidden. Because the room was filled with smoke, he needed to put the body somewhere he could access immediately. Where are you thinking? If he needed to get to the body as quickly as possible, only one place makes sense. That place is suspicious. Better search every nook and cranny. Master doesn't make mistakes. Right? 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 He 
here. That's it. The bird corpse was hidden right there. Jeez, one after another. This is really bad for my heart. We're not done yet. Hurry, let's speed it up! Shinigami, you might be fine because you're floating around, but this is really tough for me. I can't believe it! He had the corpse hidden under the blanket? So... That four-eyed detective was sleeping next to a dead body. I'm so jealous! I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Zilge was lying in bed with the corpse. He got up once the smoke screen was ready. He took the corpse out from under the blanket, pulled the knife out of the cushion, and stabbed it. That way, even after he switched with the corpse, he could just hide to avoid me. Where did Detective Four Eyes hide after that? It must have been someplace with easy access. Which must mean... Under the bed. He could have quickly hid there. You checked under the bed at the time, you would have caught that four-eyed idiot. But back then, I was in such a hurry to warn the other master detectives. I'm sure he calculated all that, too. He knew I'd panic. Maybe he was planning to take advantage of you from the very beginning, and that's why he let you in. Yeah. I think Zilch was the one who peeked into the restroom while I was sleeping there. I was supposed to be sleeping in the infirmary, so he must have planned to move me before committing the crimes. I passed out in the restroom, but that didn't hinder his plans. Speaking of which, wasn't it Detective Four Eyes who told you to go to the first car? Yeah, he must have planned to make me witness everything and set me up as the culprit. I think I'm starting to see the whole picture now. Not bad, Master. Maybe you were a big shot detective before you lost your memories. No. If I really was a great detective, I would have caught the culprit in the infirmary before any of this happened. I guess so. By the way, where did he get the corpse he was hiding in the blanket? Is that corpse? Well... Uh... Ah! Again! I won't let you go any further! Hm. Getting in our way again, huh? If you stand against my ruthless master, he'll chop you up and stir fry you with veggies for dinner! I will not! Swapped with a corpse? 
It'd be impossible to switch like that. Someone who can replace Silch would need to be the same size as him. He didn't have a bag that could carry a corpse. just needed to reuse a dead body on the train. It's Aphex's body from the fifth car. He and Zilch are nearly the same height, and both have stab wounds in their chests. So the corpse that was switched was Aphex's. Ah, damn it! How could someone like you find the truth? <laughs> short-tempered idiot would be used for a body swap. Thinking back, the reason the corpses in the first and fifth cars were burnt was to switch them out. But the corpse was so badly burned that I couldn't tell it was Aphex. That must be what the necklace was for, so I could identify him. Well, reusing a corpse is rather environmentally friendly of the culprit, don't you think? I mean, we gotta recycle everything in our day and age, so... You gotta get the most value out of corpses, too, you know? Hmm. not the culprit. I am a victim who was already killed. So, leave me alone! Hey, he ran away! After him, Master! It, yeah. You said the body in the first car's infirmary wasn't me. But Aphex? But you went to car five after car one and discovered his corpse there. How was the corpse transported from car one to car five? That'd require moving past you. That's right, if he slipped past us. When did that happen?
to. Another mystery that needs to be solved. If he'd gone outside the train instead of through it, he could have passed us. No, that's impossible. 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 Mystery Phantom! Get it, Master! Boom kill him until there's only a sorry slab of flesh left! Strange. The blackout and shaking that happened when I was in car two and car. Ugh. When the blackout occurred and the shaking started, I'm certain something else happened in the train. Maybe it has something to do with the mystery of the moving corpse. But don't be stupid. So what if there was a little blackout and some gentle swaying? Forget the shaking and the blackout! They were nothing but coincidences! The blackout was just a bad contact. The shaking was the tunnel air pressure. There's nothing odd about that! It's all just a coincidence! It's impossible to include that in a criminal plot! Come on! No. Forget the shaking and the blackout! They were nothing but coincidences! The blackout was just a bad contact! Flash through this mystery! No, the blackout didn't occur because of a connection failure. It was due to the main control system failing and switching to the backup control system. The blackout occurred during that one second when the system switched over. <sighs> Moved. 
the failed main control system was in car one, where the body swap occurred. If so, then the main control system's failure must have something to do with moving the corpse. So maybe the culprit broke the main control system. He must have attempted to stop the train to bring in the corpse from the outside. But the train never stopped. The operation log confirms the train was moving the entire time. So I don't think he broke the system to bring the corpse in. Then why did the main control system fail? Hmm... It must have something to do with moving the body. But you're unsure exactly how, huh? In that case... Anything blocking you in here is also a mystery. So let's solve it to keep on going. <laughs> so this is the question we're facing right now. The main control system must have failed because something happened in the first car. If that's true, what exactly happened? If it's related to the body being moved, then how? Master's expression is so se- Well, as his mentor, I better think hard, too! The main control system failing, the blackout, the train shaking... Oh, yeah! Why did the train shake like that? There was a blackout right before entering the tunnel that was caused by the main control system failing... didn't destroy it, so the blackout happened because... Uh, oh! Uh, wasn't there some shaking right before the blackout, too? After the whole train shook, the blackout... Ah, I don't get it! That's right! The train shook right before the blackout. We still don't know what caused that to happen. Whatever it was, it was strong enough to make the entire train shake. It caused the main control system to fail and resulted in a blackout. If it had something to do with moving a body, then what must have happened? Ooh! Did I give you the assistance you needed? Hope that it's time to combine our powers and solve this thing! Let's go, Master! Lay it all! Could it be that the first car was separated from the train? Huh? Separated? What? Seriously? Yeah. The reason why the main control system failed was because the first car was cut off from the rest of the train we were riding in. Going for now. 